Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch. And I'm going to be bringing you another episode. This is episode 65. And uh, going back once again to Vietnam. Hey, just in case you don't know, you can listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, in iTunes on your computer, Spotify, both on your computer and on your phone, uh, YouTube, Facebook. You can actually listen to it on Facebook and on our website as well, too. There's all places you can listen to this. You can go back and listen to all other 64 episodes. They're all waiting just for you. Especially for you. No, not you. You. That's right. And uh, this episode is going to be brought to you by Sunrise Linens. This is my good friends over in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And uh, they're a vintage vibe clothing business that, look, they make quality handmade clothing quality is something that's very hard to find these days with a lot of um, clothing productions being moved out of the country and uh, anytime you get your hands on something that's been just well made it really makes you step back and go wow this is nice this was worth the wait this was worth the uh, the money uh, no matter how much it costs and that is the case with sunrise linens you can visit their store at etsy.com slash shop slash sunrise linens and be sure to enter the promo code TOH25. Why? Well, that's going to get you 25% off your order. That's why. Duh. Be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they'll put up new items, new promotions, and uh, some other good content. Just all around good stuff from Sunrise Linens for nostalgia and wandering. And now, a tale of honor. Frank S. Reasoner was born on the 16th of September, 1937, in Spokane, Washington. At the age of 11, his family moved to Kellogg, Idaho, and he went on to graduate from Kellogg High School in 1955. Shortly before his 18th birthday, Frank enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps and completed recruit training at San Diego Recruit Depot. He was promoted to private first class and then completed infantry training at Camp Pendleton in California. Frank was then designated an airborne radio operator after completing airman school in Jacksonville, Florida, and communication electronics school in San Diego, California. He was then promoted to corporal after being assigned to the Marine Wing Service Group 37, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing in El Toro, California. After transferring to the Naval Academy Preparatory School in Maryland, Frank served as a guard at Marine Barracks in Annapolis and was then promoted to sergeant. He then received a congressional appointment to attend the U.S. Military Academy and was transferred to inactive Marine Corps Reserve while enrolled as a cadet. Frank participated in baseball and wrestling, which he ended up lettering in both. Frank graduated on the 6th of June, 1962, received his Bachelor of Science degree, and returned to the Marine Corps as a second lieutenant. Frank completed officer basic school and was promoted to first lieutenant in 1963 before starting a three-year-long tour of duty with the Fleet Marine Force in the Pacific with the 3rd Reconnaissance Battalion. He became the commanding officer of Company A on the 20th of June, 1965, and it was his actions while leading a patrol on the 12th of July that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, The reconnaissance patrol led by First Lieutenant Reasoner had deeply penetrated heavily controlled enemy territory when it came under extremely heavy fire from an estimated 50 to 100 Viet Cong insurgents. Accompanying the advance party and the point that consisted of five men, he immediately deployed his men for an assault after the Viet Cong had opened fire from numerous concealed positions. Boldly shouting encouragement and virtually isolated from the main body, he organized a base of fire for an assault on the enemy positions. The slashing fury of the Viet Cong machine gun and automatic weapon fire made it impossible for the main body to move forward. Repeatedly exposing himself to the devastating attack, he skillfully provided covering fire, killing at least two Viet Cong and effectively silencing an automatic weapons position in a valiant attempt to effect evacuation of a wounded man. As casualties began to mount, his radio operator was wounded and First Lieutenant Reasoner immediately moved to his side and tended to his wounds. 
When the radio operator was hit a second time while attempting to reach a covered position, First Lieutenant Reasoner, courageously running to his aid through the grazing machine gun fire, fell mortally wounded. His indomitable fighting spirit, valiant leadership, and unflinching devotion to duty provided the inspiration that was to enable the patrol to complete its mission without further casualties. In the face of almost certain death, he gallantly gave his life in the service of his country. His actions upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the U.S. Naval Service. Near the gates of Camp Reasoner, the 3rd Reconnaissance Battalion Base Camp at Da Nang, South Vietnam, there is a sign that says, First Lieutenant Reasoner sacrificed his life to save one of his wounded Marines. Greater love hath no man. The USS Reasoner was also named in honor of Frank, and Frank S. Reasoner is buried in Section V of the Greenwood Cemetery in Kellogg, Idaho. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. Thank you. I really mean that. I really do. Uh, If you like this podcast, which I know you do, please be sure to leave a nice review. I can't stress enough leaving a review because, hey, when you're scrolling for a place to eat, you know, like you might do tonight or some other day, who knows, you, you tend to look at the reviews to make sure it's any good. Maybe you do that when you go to watch a movie or a TV show. You look at quick reviews to go, what did other people think about this? You should do the same for this podcast. This way, when somebody else is looking through podcasts, they can see what other people have to say about this and go, oh, well, these people thought it was good. It must be good enough for me. Do that. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at TalesOfHonorPodcast.com. Also up on the website, all of our sponsor links. That's easy enough. You don't have to remember anything now. You just have to go to the website. Yeah, I made it foolproof for you. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to TalesOfHonorPodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.